feel like I feel like this is really far away. Uh. Welcome to the episode today. In this episode, I'm behind the drum kit. I'm I, I'm not gonna play anything. I uh I I, did, I just got this today. I just got this new snare for like dirt cheap, like a hundred bucks, and uh. For drummers, look at that clutch. Isn't that nice? Nice look. It's a 13 by 7, I believe. Yeah, this is the other snare that I use. This is snare two now. Okay, um, in this episode, I want to talk about this studio space once, once more, but specifically in this studio. Specifically what in the studio space? I'm talking about the, the the setup and like permanent installations that I have working Right now like this Like like this here is soon gonna be a monitor for outside kind of like a review mirror But whatever's on the other side of the door will will we'll show up right there and, and and other things like Like this isn't as permanent but like, these road cases here, how perfect they just sit in there. And there's a reason why I want to talk about this, is when I, when I like, put all this stuff in, and I, and I like, put this stuff together, I, I have the vision of like, it's never gonna move, it's just gonna stay there, and that's where it goes. And, and I'm working with this band, so I'm leaving for San Antonio soon. So, um, so I, I, I've actually like, got some stuff packed, and and so what's what's crazy is like I've had to like take out mics that like I thought would just sit there forever. I've, I I like put stuff in those cases that haven't been moved in almost a year um, because I just haven't needed it in a year or it sits in deep storage and I only pull it out for certain occasions. Um, but like I, if you ever have a studio, do you have this issue too, where like. Again, like, I set things up, and I think it's a set it and forget it, and then I start moving it around a lot, like, the the stand that normally sits here, I thought this tripod would just, I could, like, even screw it into the ground, but I notice I move it around the studio a lot for a bunch of different projects, and I, like, I, as I'm building in the studio, as I'm creating this space, uh, which I talked about um, in, in, I think it was yesterday's episode, I talked about it. I, I, I start thinking about, okay, this is where it's gonna go, but do I, how do I make this modular? How do, how do I move this around? And I have this like idea that I really wanna do, but it's like, does it work? And here's the, here's the idea. This here is like a kitchen table. I like almost never sit here. I don't eat on this table. Um, I, I sometimes do meetings on this table, but what I wanna do is to get like a workbench in here. So I can do like proper like work and get some like power tools and like really be able to build stuff in here. Maybe make a close up table, you know, so I can like do like top down shots. Um, and so as I'm building this space, as I'm thinking about doing some newer updates and newer things to this, how do I make this like a modular studio? How can I like shift this whole place around? And I'm working on that. Like, do I put stuff on wheels and casters? Do I just know that this is gonna have to move soon so don't like screw the cables into the wall? I'm already thinking, I'm already even thinking about moving the boosted board wall because I want to put a keyboard here so people can play. But then where do I put all my boosted boards? That's a good question. And if you're wondering where Boosted 1 and Boosted 2 are, Cole has those. Cole, have fun. Don't break yourself like Parker did. Um, so like, it's, it, the studio is starting to like take shape in a new form and in a new life, in a new way, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, so like, whenever, if you're building a studio, if you have a studio, I like the modular feel. I like to be able to, pick up all the guitars and move them somewhere else and for it to work at that other spot as well as where I like it it's right there but I have to get used to it because I do like stuff just in one spot I never move it it sits there and, and I forget it you know it's kind of a set and forget um, 
I'm liking this modular setup. What I, what started this was when I did when I redid the drums, and I was like, well, now I have all these extra cymbals and stands and some drums left over. What can I do? Well, now I can swap out cymbals. Like I I did it uh, last night. I swapped out some cymbals to like get different sounds and feels, but I can just put the other ones back away and I always, all, I always have this to do some swaps and I think I'm starting to like that idea that I can always just swap something out and it feels new, but it's just one thing, one tiny thing. Um, and so, as I'm building a space and, and making this place a little bit more newer, I've noticed that I really like, I really... I really like the modular feel. I just I felt like I, I wanted to make an episode on on that and some I know some some viewers here are like content creators with them themselves and they might have some studio space. How do you do how do you like a studio? Or if you wanted a studio, how would you want the studio? Would you want it everything's in one spot and it stays there or do you like the modular setup like a modular studio? I'm like on a fence right now. I'm liking modular, but I really like a set and forget as well. Hmm.